Fraggle Swaggle here, and I'm here with my fifth album review, Help. Well, here we go with a classic song, Help, and it's a great start. And, uh, I really like the song. Very catchy, and, um, it's a classic. Uh, 9.1. This is a very nice song, um, and this is The Night Before. Well, it's um, sung very well, and it's once again very catchy, and I overall quite like it. And, uh, yeah, I'd give it 8.9. You've Gotta Hide Your Love Away. This is a really laid back and overall very, um, I wouldn't say melancholy, but a uh, pretty solemn song. But, at um, the same time, very good, once again. Uh, 9 out of 10. Um, this song kind of falls back a bit with the other phrase songs. It's it's okay, but well, no, it's better than okay. It's very good, but compared to the other phrase songs, it's not as good. But uh, still, very catchy and very good. Eight point four out of ten. I like it. Yeah, uh, eight point eight out. I used to love this song. You're gonna lose that girl. It's. Once again, like I always say, very well sung, and um, I just really like it. The lyrics, um, interesting, overall great song, uh, 9 out of 10. Here we go with probably the most famous song on here. It's an excellent song. Um, it's very catchy, and it's, um, I don't understand why it's probably the most famous song on the album. But, uh, yeah, 9.4 out of 10. Here we go with Ringo singing again with Act Naturally. And um, for a positive note, it's better than um, Honey Don't on the previous album, uh, Beatles for Sale. It's sung a bit better and it's a lot more catchier, but still. Uh, uh, 7.4 out of 10. It's very good. <laughs> Um, I really like this song. I don't know why, it's just stuck and listened to it so many times and I never get bored of it. Um, 9.4 out of 10. A friend of mine, Leighton Mario 3, loves this song and I don't understand why. I mean, it just plays like a normal Beatles song and then just kicks in. It's, I, I really like it, I don't understand why and, um, it's brain, sorry, um, I, I really like it too, it's um, not my favourite, but better than Dizzy Miss Lizzy. 8.7 I first heard this song um, on the first uh, Mr Bean movie. It's absolutely beautiful, and seeing it played live is, life live is just excellent. I love this song. 9.3 out of No, 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 um, my CD player hasn't broke. It's, you're probably thinking, um, where's Dizzy Miss Lizzy and, um, tell me what you see and you like me too much is gone. It's because I don't like them songs and I think they're basically, literally a waste of space on my iPod. Like I always say, like I always say, it's my opinion, but personally, I don't like them. Dizzy Miss Lizzy, I hate, to be honest. And uh, it's done some, I don't know who it's by, but... Yeah, it's not a good song to end with, I have to admit. It's just very bland, and the other two songs are pretty much average, so... Um, you Like Me Too Much, I'd probably say... 6.4, yeah, Tell Me What You See, 7. And Dizzy Miss Lizzy, 5.8. Well, that's it, and to conclude, overall, a very good album. Overall, I'll give the album 8.5 out of 10. And, um, tune in next time for one of my favourite albums, Rubber Soul. Bye.